So let's um, spend two weeks with that then online. Uh, let's fight the thing that's supposed to be good, yeah. Uh, it is definitely more challenging with the uh, COVID. So hold on, let me up the mic. There we go. Um, all right, so here's the Buick Bug. Um, I had to move the brake lights, disconnected them, moved the wiring. Um, because I'm trying to get the body down. Um, it's out there. There's still some uh, waves in it, but. Well, it's Thursday, and next Friday, we are to be down in Wilcox for the race, and I want to be able to drive this car. And so I think I'm going to just go with what it is. I'm going to put a coat primer on it. Um, but what you'll be joining me with today is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm saving this section. Now, the body work I'm going to do is I'm no, not a clue, not a clue on how to do this stuff. I'm learning. So what I share with you definitely a novice attempt. So if you understand body work, I definitely wouldn't watch this. It'll pollute your mind, I guess you would say. Uh, if not, you know, it's all for entertainment. So I'm hoping to put in a rough coat on this. But I got to fix something. The body panel sits here, which is just on the side of this uh, bend and pipe right here. I don't know how well you can see that. The other side does not. The other side tucks in. So I bent a metal tab, and I'm just going to slip it under there, put a tack on it, just help pull that out. So I'm going to want to put the Bondo on it. It will help give it that rigidity it needs. Uh, and then this way, I'll give it all night tomorrow to uh, cure. And that way, when I pull it off, I'm going to you know, unbury some of the screws that got buried in the Bondo. But, so, but that's, uh, that's where I'm at. So, Let's move on to uh, welding on that little tab. So, all right, thank you. Thanks. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah. Wherever I put that. metal tab, so to weld it in, pull the body out. So
got to do this. It's kind of pulling out away from the drop. Just a little pack. So, uh, Ogden, Auto Body, and Glass. So, just went down and got their cheapest. This is, I don't know, just Pro Light Valley Body Filler. About the same price as the Hondo stuff from Home Depot. Oops. Runs a little better. <laughs> Bought the can yesterday. <laughs> Already down there. Most of it, now, I don't think that this is on the car. Most of it's on the floor. So, those that do know body work, it's not really on the car. So, I want to just put a big scoop on the table here. Okay. Bring that back up. Now, everything I'm sharing, I learned. So you're getting it second hand and even then it's not even that best. All right, and then the next thing always, so here's the hardener that goes with that. Um, mix it up every time before you spread it on. Don't just throw it on there, okay? Okay, so that's all ready. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a bead across the length of it. Now, I'm going to try to go a smaller beat because I need a little bit more working time. It's a little warm today, so I've never been good. I always seem to go hot, and that's probably going to be the same. And then I probably have, you know, those fancy spatulas and stuff like that. And I use a piece of cardboard. Get a lot of packages here at the school, so why not? And you got to mix this up until all those little blue streaks, especially this big one, have all disappeared. Um, and same with the light brown or beige or gray or whatever color you want to call this, the base of the bondo. All right, so now I'm gonna clean off my spatula there. Okay. Now I'm going to use this to fold it over. See, there's a big streak I didn't see. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera over there first and then grab the pile here. All right. I, I, I don't know. You know. I don't know if there's a rhyme or a reason or how or what. I'm just going to flash it up again. Yeah. 
fiberglass that's brushed up with 80 grit sandpaper. And this spot right here, I can tell it goes in and out. Also, On this part, it just has a smile and you got the middle. That's crazy. I put in these little grooves right here. I want to install brake lights. So I hit them in there. Why? Yeah, there's no reason why. It's like, why build site carpet? No. So what I'm doing is I'm watching this little burbs, burbs, little burbs, boogers. I like boogers. Let's go with boogers. Those little burgers, boogers. As those boogers uh, start appearing, then I know that I'm getting to the life of this bondo, and uh, you start playing with it after that point, you just regret it. That's all I've, I've learned that. So, uh, so I've got about a spatula left of Fondo here and look for a spot to slap it all. It's going to go right there. Now washed off. Let's go ahead and put that down. Let's go over. What pieces I got? All right. Chewy or still soft. Is that I think I got that for you. 
partial of root of that value. All right, so um, we can see the things around the head. Like there's a flat spot there, there's one right there, there's this one here. But as I was mentioning, this is a go kart. This is a, this is, I don't know, I should degrade my work. It, to me, this looks great. I'm very pleased with the outcome of this part. So as I go to finish this off, you can see some of the darker spots are lows. So they need a little more to bring them up. And so there's spots up here I gotta fix and I'm sure the hole there. But so far nothing's more than a quarter inch. You can see here's some high spots from the fiberglass. It's actually a ridge line, and then there's one right here. That was the ridge of this. I cut down on that, so. So yeah, that's now uh, back to the table. This is the tail that is going to be done. So let's go ahead and get a little closer. Now, I have what's uh, this is a wrap, or known as a cheese grater. Um, didn't even know about this until more recently. But this way, at the bottom, is just about set. It's soft, so you can put your fingernail in it, but not too soft. Or too hard that now you're putting towels on things. Okay. So now I'm looking at a piece of cardboard. This is pulling back, so that tells me it's not quite ready. Not my touch here yet. I'm not seeing the things now. That's why I use that. Um, so, yeah, that's a piece of cardboard, a piece of cheese grater. And that's what I used on the whole. Front there is a cheese grater because that way I take quick work. And you can see, I'm going to show you here. Part of that didn't work. I cleaned up my mess. This is just yesterday's and today's mess. Just two days. This is all the stuff coming off the cheese grater. This is just two days worth, and like I said, that's why that hand goes down so fast. I have two different hardeners, I have a red hardener and a blue one. Uh, just so that way, depending on what mix I'm doing, I can kind of see, okay, I've gone to a high point there or a low point there. So, yeah. So now I'm just kind of watching. This is the hard part, is just waiting, kind of like break, baking bread. It's just at a certain point. So what I learned to cook bread, the biggest thing that I learned from when I was cooking sourdough and various bread was the water temperature was the most crucial uh, so to get the yeast to rise. Uh, so it's kind of the same idea. I gotta look for the right temperature on this bread. So do a little Almost there. Um, let's see. Uh, so I had the brake light, uh, headlight. You guys have seen the pictures with the five switches, which uh, I have turning indicators and underglow, all of that stuff. So that way, what will happen is if I get this done, I'll probably going to pull these, uh, these tail lights off and put them actually up where they're supposed to be. But these are probably were wired, so I make them a little bit in a way. I'm going to bake that one by accident. Uh, okay, I'm getting them. Yeah, still too soft. Too soft to uh, to stand, but too hard to spread with the bread there. So 
So what's the idea? Is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rough coat this. Hopefully I'll get this coat down. The sides right here. Don't need it as much because it's going to rip the fiberglass right onto the board. So that's smooth. So I'll hit that with this primer. The transition has a lot. And then here you can kind of see a couple of black spots, things like that. Uh, and then that here on the top is for the divot. That divot actually will hold the uh, explosive. Uh, that was a wood chip. So here on the idea was I was talking to uh, Tim Buck about this was the a four foot or a six foot stick coming off of here. So that way when we're running through the straight line, you can kind of see where you're at. Or not us, but uh, spectators and those at night. So that way, if the whip stick goes over, you knew that that contestant is now down. So it's kind of kind of a safety thing. Uh, so that way, we can drive high energy. So don't know how many laps we'll do at night. But I'm just trying to make size where the number of people are going to be there. Uh, so looking forward to that. All right, let's uh, take a test there. So. All right, so it's still, still a little too wet. So, um, yeah, you know, I guess I could give you a quick view. Uh, I'm at my school shop. We have beautiful lifts. We have a nice in ground over there. We have uh, three two post lifts. They're already got the projects going. Um, I had the privilege of actually having a forklift in my shop, which is great. I have a connector where I can move cards. Back there in the black and white is my classroom, although. As we stand around here, I'll explain what's going on. Up in that case is my office. I love having that. In my advanced classes, I teach them uh, their stuff, and then they have to uh, try to figure out the mechanical parts so of how to do stuff on their own. There's no need for me to stop teaching how to turn a wrench in my advanced classes. And then over here is now my classroom to give them that social distancing. They want six feet apart. Even that stuff is uh, possible. I have a beautiful Hawkeye alignment rack over there. I'm teaching alignment right now, so I got one of my shop cards up there. Make sure that one's my card. And then we swing around to where I'm teaching from, our shop door to the back, and then me. So that's a quick synopsis. I do have a paint booth, but it's been decommissioned uh, due to well, OSHA and stuff. Just out of coat, I guess. Okay, I think I get the fold. Yeah. So now I'm just going to take the cheese grater. I just go on white. So there's a nice fat hot spot. The one I'm watching is I got a hot spot there, a low spot right next to it. This whole thing comes down to a piece right there. Hot spot there, but high spot. And I'm going to go ahead and Okay, so 
All right, there we go. Sticky hands. Yeah. That might have to get more. Again, make sure you mix that up. And then a bead across the length. And mix. Whee! This is so exhilarating. Almost there. Okay. You can see all that. Ooh, one down on the floor. You can see those streaks there. So we don't want that going on. So what I'll do is I'll clean this off. I'll clean off this, and then I'll use this to fold it over. So there's that streak.
Okay, let's, uh, you know what I'm going to do? Do it like in the last time. I'm going to take the camera first and then. Go there. Put the camera to focus. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. Putting a lot of force here to get it in place. And then to come up here, lightly now if I can. That way, go back down to the bottom. Okay. So then, I'm going to go to the box. up a little bit so there's my so here's my I'm gonna go grab my box sheet turn that off this box comes courtesy of Briggs and Stratton thank you very much um, Briggs and Stratton being the generic company they still support the vocational program you can uh, talk with them and they will send you a motor uh, as long as your training program fits within the small vehicle repair 
So let's, and that's going to be kind of strange, you know, there's infinity, but let's, uh, let's uh, just focus here for a second. Let me grab my phone. All right, so what I want to pull up real quick is, uh -huh, drawing the mouse here, um, I want to talk about an activity I wanted to do. Now, um, let's let's start with this. Um, okay, I got audio problems, so we'll just go this way. All right, so what I've got in my mind, I'm going nuts, okay? Um, teaching in this pandemic, being a shop teacher has driven me it, it, it's been really hard. I, I, to be honest, I had a breakdown yesterday from it. Um, it's still affecting me. It, teaching is something I love. I know it's here. I helped a lot of kids. This is my tenth year teaching, and what I've noticed is it's, it's the fact that I can't teach. So in my shop right now my classes are using tire machines there's one over there by the swamp pillar there's my balancer there and i had to move the other one way out to the middle of the shop to space them out so while they work on it so the issue has been well what is it you know you know okay yeah every one of my intro classes go through this stuff and yeah it just to be honest it's the the challenge of teaching during this you know i'm Got to wear a mask, which is fine. You know, everybody, all doctors do this or that, or if you're for it or against it, whatever. Talking in a shop environment with a mask on is not what a doctor does. You know, if the doctor had to do open heart surgery and teach how to do it constantly, and, you know, not just teach by doing it, but, <clears throat> see, I might have lost my voice for today's lessons. But it, I don't know how to explain it. It's, just, it's hard. It, it's been very tasking. And then with kids and their lack of respect, I've had some kids just be really rude in class, really mouthy, and, and you know, try to get them removed. I got kids that's, you know, I'm moping. Let's go on to the other stuff. So let's, let's talk about something I brought up on the cycle cart form. So let's go there. I'm going to pull it up on here. So you can watch a screen on a screen. Um, what I've done, <laughs> look at that, there's me. Is I asked, what are you doing? Well, I'll pull it up real quick here. Hold on. What are you doing for the summer of 2027? Hmm. I guess I don't have it there. So the thing is, it's a road trip across America, okay? It's an opportunity to try cycle carts in another form to, sorry, okay, because we got cycle carts for racing. And then at one time, uh, expedition cycle karting travel uh, was brought up and I'm not sure, and I don't want to call out names because I might miss somebody. And But it was brought up, and I thought about it. I've always loved road trips. My family loves road trips. It's great. We got to go to Briggs and Stratton for training, and uh, we drove all the way to uh, Wisconsin. And, oh, my gosh, you know, my kids, they can do about a 10 to 12 hours in the car, and that's without TVs in the car, okay? We don't go with those luxuries. It's just good old fashioned road trip. Stopping, having picnics, hotels and motels, tourist traps, all the way through. So I loved it. Uh, I, I My kids say they loved it. You know, we got to see Mount Rushmore with them. We got to go see a butterfly house and 
uh, Sioux Falls and uh, got to see the Great Lakes. All of that was amazing. But I started thinking about cycle carts and what to do next. And I thought, you know what would be very, very unique? And this is, also came about when I was watching the first road trip uh, by Ken Burns, uh, documentary of Horatio Nelson Jackson, who drove a 1903 Winston from San Francisco to Boston. And I was like, wow, car had 22 horsepower on sticker. I, from all the things they had problems with the two cylinder, I'd say maybe 10, maybe I would safely say eight. Um, you know, horses were measured differently then, I guess. But I thought about it and I thought about it and I was like, well, we got six and a half years. We got plenty of people that are kind of interested on the form. Kind of people have been like, oh, no, that will never work. You can't take those cars. They're not road legal. But I think I've already talked with, you know, to me, I think the biggest state that's going to be the issue is California. And I've already talked to a few people at the Highway Patrol and the uh, uh, state um, Department of Motor Vehicles. Sorry, my brain died. Uh, and so I have the hurdles. I know what they are, but they're not impossible. It's not impossible from doing it. And so I'm hoping that maybe, you know, seven years from now, we might be able to do it. And I'm liking Steve's idea. Um, Steve's idea. Oh, sorry. Uh, Dave, you asked about allowed to wear clear shields. No, the Utah State Health Department said face masks only, even though I'm in my shop. But I have no students, so I'm closed. All the doors are closed. Hopefully the custodials don't come in. So you actually have to have a face mask. Um, I wear these. I find them the most unobtrusive is these uh, N95 masks. So I got a box of these and just wear them a day. Um, I can't stand the gators because it just smashes. And yeah, that's the one I go with. So that's a quick answer there for you, Dave. Um, but yeah, so... I, I want to do it. I, I, I think it will be a lot of excitement. I hopefully, you know, what I'm looking for is I, I overthink things. I plan to every thing, you know, I plan for the worst and hope for the best. So I, I think of all these things. Like right now, uh, I'm out of California and I'm, uh, the trip was originally through Winnemucca and through Nevada, but I found that um, it was interesting because the only way I can get through those is by talking to people locally and uh, find out that some of them, even though they're highways, they have gates in the end. And um, So now we're heading up through Idaho and hopefully getting through the mountains instead of trying to go through Ogden, because I can only think of two main roads through. And they, <laughs> I wouldn't want to put my cycle cart on Highway 80. Um, as you know, anybody across the country, 80 is not the best to go on with all the semis. So. And when Honda Civics looked big. So, yeah. So, you know, if you're interested, get on the forum. If not, hit me up on Facebook or YouTube and feed in. You know, I think it would be a lot of fun. So, um, let's move on to, let's move back to the cart. Let's go see if the Bondo's ready. I didn't bring the cardboard over here. So, let's walk over there again. Just checking for any notes. Um, it's interesting the... There we go. All right, so let's head back over there. Uh, don't want to trip on any cars. All right, there we go. So let's see if we're ready to take the car. Oh, man, she looks great. Oh, yeah. That's actually perfect. Oh, nice and warm. Okay. And now, this is perfect because let me show you what you're getting off of here. The soft strand is an individual, whereas the other time when I did it, it was kind of clumping up on there. So let me hit that with a... I don't know if you know what this is, but this is what's known as a file brush. It helps clean out files. So that's one of my broken up one, so I don't mind 
Alright, well, let's go ahead and and you can see I got these two high lines right here. Actually, you probably can't see. Let's see a little closer. Whoop. There we go. What I'll do is I'll put that there, and I'll put another one. Um, and you can see here's some of the cuttings. So I'm going to come right here. This is the line right where the four cardboard meets. So, 
barely see nothing start. I mean, back out of bed. Over there, and uh, we'll close out our discussion. We'll go from there. So, Whee. all right, just uh, whoop, let me see. If, oh, I got a few notes here. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, cross country, you know, 60 miles, kind of a small endurance run. Thank you, David. I like that. Um, I think some people would be interested. Uh, you know, uh, I, I like, I think I've kept alluding to it, but Steve's idea was you do a highlight run. So you do a, a, a week or two, or not a week, about a week on the road, on cycle cart, and then you drive to the next spot. So like trying to get over the Rockies. Well, you can drive up, launch, put the cycle cart on the trailer, and then go down. But, you know, I don't know. Well, I got seven years, six and a half, and we'll go from there. So, hey, once again, thanks for joining me. I I know this is weird. You know, we're just sitting over there sanding a bondo. You know, woo. But I appreciate it. It's a relief for me. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in Wilcox next week. Um, Please get yourselves ready. Uh, those that are building or thinking about it, join. It's a lot of fun. You know, there's no practical reason to have a cycle cart other than it's, to me, it's the opportunity to relieve my stresses on something else. So I get to drive those around. All right. Thank you. Hey, if you aren't a subscribed member of this channel, go ahead. Um, you'll start seeing some more stuff coming up in October. My students have asked me to do some other sillier thing so uh we'll have a like a forum kind of like what we're doing here on mondays tuesdays we're going to talk about random tools from the tool room this will always be a live thursday um and we're just going to go to those three things so yeah join in uh subscribe to the channel uh definitely hit a like on this it definitely helps me out and this is a kind of a side thing for my uh as a teacher so all right thank you very much and i'm gonna go ahead and let you uh stare down that beautiful cycle cart over there as we close off the channel so thank you and i will see you guys next time